Prop 20 is known by its supporters as the Voters First Act for Congress, and it's one of two measures on the November ballot that affects the Citizen Redistricting Commission. We just had the 2010 census. That population count defines how many districts our state gets divided into in the U.S. House of Representatives. Estimates say California this time around will have between 52 and 54 seats in Washington, D.C. But who decides where the division lines go? If Proposition 20 and 27 both fail, our next governor and legislature will get to decide how to slice up California for purposes of lawmaking. If Prop 20 passes, it'll make the process of redrawing those lines the responsibility of the California Citizens Redistricting Commission. The arguments for Prop 20 center around the theme of creating California's congressional districts in a fair and unbiased way. They also say it's a logical extension of Prop 11, passed in 2008, which is the measure that, in the first place, established the Citizens Redistricting Commission. Then again, it was only approved by a slim margin in 2008, 50.9% of the vote. As for the opponent of Prop 20, while there are two officially registered campaign committees, neither has received much funding. Ballotpedia.org lists both the No on 20 Committee and the California Coalition for Leadership and Accountability in Budget and Redistricting, Yes on 25 and 27, No on 20 Campaign Committee. Kind of a mouthful. As mentioned a moment ago, Prop 27 and Prop 20 are competing on this November's ballot. Prop 27 would eliminate the Citizens Redistricting Commission. More on that in our spotlight on Prop 27. But in short, both Prop 27 and Prop 20 include what's called poison pill language, meaning if voters pass both, the one that's passed with the highest majority vote is the one that becomes the law. Those arguing against Prop 20 say it'll be a waste of taxpayer dollars, and they also say the measure will mandate all districts be segregated by income level. Julian Bond, former NAACP chairman is quoted as saying Prop 20 sets back the clock on redistricting law.